What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and today will be the unboxing of the Dirt Devil Power Express Compact Bagless Upright Vacuum Cleaner. This particular example being a UD20120T model, featuring easy assembly. Now, this machine, as you can see, is in this lovely blue and teal color. My local Walmart had this as a Black Friday special, and many Walmarts throughout the continental United States also had this as a Black Friday special, although the prices did sometimes vary depending on your location. In my particular location, this vacuum was offered in three different colors for a total of $25. Now, after the Black Friday deals have ended, both of the stores that I have gone to since, which was yesterday on a Saturday, so directly after the Black Friday deals, these machines have jumped back up to $29. So basically, if you missed out on the Black Friday deal, then you can still get this machine for still a good price for what it is, but you will be paying four extra dollars. So basically, sacrifice some morning coffee and you can still get the vacuum that you want, assuming this is that machine. Now, for 25 bucks, it'll be interesting to see if this is a good machine for that price. I've had a lot of issues with the current Bissell Power Force compact vacuum that is often the most common compact upright that you will see nowadays, especially in Walmart. Will this machine give it a run for its money? I have looked at both machines in the past, but not too much recently, so hopefully this will give me a fresh new perspective on this machine, as well as a brand new example to see how well it is, and a little bit of honesty here, a little bit of honesty here, I bought this because of the color. This was offered in this tealish color, a purple color, and a red color, and you can tell which one I went with. The red, too boring, it's classic Dirt Devil, and the purple, too similar to the red. So, this was it. A very nice bluish teal color. In fact, the Power Force Compact was offered in this color a while ago, or at least a very similar color, and I did an unboxing of that machine as well, though I did end up returning it because I wasn't a fan of the machine. I do still have a Power Force Compact review that I did film, and that will go up at some point after this, after the next unboxing you'll see, and the vacuum save video, which will also be going up around this time, depending on how we release the videos. So if you're asking for a new vacuum save video, and I haven't just posted one, it will likely be the next one. But obviously, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can see when my next upload is. Now, for those who have frantically gone to the comments section wishing for there to be a timestamp because you didn't want to see the first three minutes of this video and wanted me to go straight into the unboxing and assembly tutorial, then don't fret, it is happening right now. But, real quick first, let's look at the box. So it features an edge-to-edge -edge clean, it has multi-floor capabilities, an easy rinse filter, and a measly one-year warranty, which is very common for this model. The front base of this looks nearly identical to my Dirt Devil Breeze that I have, the older style, or actually the newer style Dirt Devil Breeze, but the last machine to carry the Breeze name, which no longer is on the market, so this is the closest thing resembling it that you can really find and it appears this is pretty much end of life on Dirt Devil's website from what I can gather. Though you can still find this at Walmart and a very similarly named but twice as expensive machine at Big Lots. So, this is the Power Express. I believe the Big Lots version is referred to as the Endura Express. This process is identical for both machines. Long lasting suction with advanced performance. Compact power for a quick clean. Lightweight design, less than 10 pounds, lightweight is good. Powerful pickup on carpets and hard floors, we'll see how well that works out, probably not very well. And the onboard toolkit with the crevice and dusting brush. Again, very similar to the Power Force Compact. Although, clearly targeting the market for the older style Power Force Compact with the fact that the hose and wand setup is very similar to the old style Compact. So maybe if you like the older, like the, the 23T7 model Compact, Maybe this is the closest to a spiritual successor that you can find. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and open this up. And I did make sure to keep the receipt just in case this thing ends up being a piece of garbage, but we will see. So, 
If you have gotten this machine, please watch this video because I've seen a lot of people put this machine together incorrectly, and it bothers me. I mean, it's obviously your machine, so you can put it, put it together however which way you want. But if you want to do it properly, watch this video. As you can see, it says, your vacuum has a filter and it needs you. This is uh, very interesting considering... Uh, many comments that I've seen recently about people complaining about vacuums when they don't take the time to maintain their vacuum. So yes, this vacuum does have a filter, and you do need to clean it. And just four easy steps. Locate, rinse, dry, and reuse. Remember, a clean filter equals best vac ever. It's really sad that these companies have to explain it to the consumers, yet they still don't seem to generally understand this. Got this lovely garbage cardboard and the usual Dirt Devil spiel, very similar to what we saw in the Power Max Pet. Opening this up, we have the owner's manual. This uses the Dirt Devil style 15 belt and the F112 style filter. So if you're wondering what parts your machine needs as far as replenishments, there it is. Of course, my phone goes off. Shut up, Note 7. Okay. Hey, you. You're the new owner of an awesome Dirt Devil product. Many thanks for inviting us on your cleaning adventure. You're the best. In love? Drop us a review on your favorite retailer's website so the rest of the world can feel the love, too. No need to head back to the store if you're not feeling it. We got your back. Give us a shout with any questions or issues so we can make it right by making you cut off the cord and sending you another unit based on experience. Now, the review part is definitely relevant to me, because that's what I'll be doing. Okay. So we have a crevice tool. And, oh, I hate this cardboard so much. Dirt Devil, please stop doing this. This alone is making me not want to buy your products. And a dusting brush, which is matted and damaged out of the box. Wow, that's not, that's not a good look. When the brush is brand new and it looks like it's seen some use and abuse obviously due to the box caving in on it that's not a good design oh well hopefully your brush is better quality now we have the garbage styrofoam Ooh, okay now on film this looks blue in real life this looks green like this looks pretty much green so again color may vary based off of your particular monitor that you're viewing this on so keep in mind in real life, this is, like, more of a green than it is a blue, but it's it's very similar to the blue that's on the Dyson DC-07 original and carpet models. So it's like a bluish-greenish, but it, you in certain lighting and certain conditions, it can look either color, either blue or green. So keep that in mind in case you don't buy this exact color and end up being disappointed because it's not the exact color that you wanted. This looks like a baby blue on my phone screen, but in real life, it looks more like a green. So there's the handle, and the handle will go on like this on the machine. I'll demonstrate that later because people put it on backwards. That's kind of the point that I was making earlier. People often put this apart incorrectly. A very, very flimsy piece of protective plastic, and that's pretty much it. Wow. So this just pops out. There's also a little hole in the box, but it doesn't appear to have affected the vacuum in any sort of way. I'm going to pull this out live on camera if I can get away with doing that. Sorry for the odd filming. I'm trying to show the genuine experience here. Okay, come on, let go. All right, okay. So, now the main machine is out. And, oops, and that broke. And that is out too. It, oh, oh. Dirt Devil, stop using this cardboard or this styrofoam. This is awful. <sighs> okay. All right. So, how do you put this together? First, click it upright, which is hard to do. There we go. It's friction fit, so it's going to feel stiff at first, but just give it a little push, and it will come undone. Brush any styrofoam off of this, as it will stick. The hose is already pre-attached, 
as we can see. And it's thankfully not kinked out of the box. That's definitely a, a relief. So we can see the lower and upper cord hooks are already attached and configured. That feels loose. Again, it's black, so it's going to be kind of hard to see. There's the Dirt Devil sticker. Royal Appliances Manufacturing in Charlotte, North Carolina. Here is the cord. As per usual, you get a free twist tie. So not much in a way of assembly tutorials needed, but it's amazing how there's one step here, and a lot of people tend to get this incorrect. So I'll just show this right now. Okay. See how this is the front of the machine? See how this is the pointed tip of the handle with the hose hook on the back and the cord clip on the back? It goes in like this. See, so just push it in like this with the handle facing this way so you're actually able to hold on to it while you vacuum and not break your hand off in the other direction. This is where the hose goes. Line this up accordingly. I can't stress this enough. This is the most important part that people tend to mistake on this. And we can see this just slides into place. We can see there's a little screw hole right there. So once we get this all the way lined up, we can see this is pushed all the way down until it is flush. Now there is a little screw on the handle right here. So we're going to pull this off. Did I mention you need a Phillips head screwdriver for this as well? Well, you do. So we have this one little screw that we need to take out of the package. You can see it is a Phillips head. I apologize for my nails. I didn't trim them before this video. I didn't think to. Sorry about that. We'll just squeeze the screw out and uh, use the foot method. There we go. And pull the stray plastic off of this screw, if that is possible, without stabbing myself. This tutorial is just all over the place. I'm supposed to look like a professional YouTuber. Because I am, right? Oh well. So, this is the real world. So, this screw is out now. So we just put this screw through this hole in the handle right here. Make sure it actually goes in. So if you need to hand twist it a little bit to make sure it goes in place. Hold on, let me figure this out real quick. So once you put this screw in, you want to hand tighten it until you can't hand tighten it anymore. And then you want to take your screwdriver, if I can line this up, and then screw it in the rest of the way. You may need to use your foot if you happen to not have both hands because you're coincidentally filming a YouTube video. So just turn this screw until it's fully tightened into the back of the handle. Until it is hand tight, but also be sure not to over tighten the screw. Now that the handle is tight, you want to take your hose and stretch it over this hose hook up here. So that's not a cord hook, that is a hose hook. And then stretch this down in here. And if you see this little clip right here, you just line this up and snap it into place. Now you want to make sure you hear the click, otherwise it's not going to be very firm in there. And if you want to figure out whether or not your handle is installed correctly, just grab the handle, pick it up, shake it a little bit, but not, not too far off the ground so you don't drop it and break it. We can see this handle is in fact installed correctly. Next we want to undo this little twist tie fastener right here and then flip this cord hook up like this and then wind the cord all the way around the lower and upper cord hook right here and simply do that until the cord is entirely wound around the cord clips and then once it is fully wound you take the cord clip and secure it to the end of the cable. Now both the cable itself and the actual molded clip will be tight if the vacuum is brand new so that may be a little bit of a snug fit but it'll still all secure in place just fine.
And there we go. The vacuum is pretty much together. The last thing we got to do is take these two little attachments. Reference this diagram, although they can go on either way. And put them on these little posts, posts, not posts, posts right here. Right here on the Post Malones. And now the vacuum is entirely assembled. Just like that. And voila, you have successfully unboxed and assembled your new Bissell, or Bissell, your new Dirt Devil Power Express vacuum cleaner, which says carpet and hard floor. Again, I sincerely doubt that, but we will see. Anyway, guys, this is Intelitech Studios. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And again, for those who didn't read the title, this was not the review. The video does not say review in the title. This is the unboxing and the assembly tutorial. I've had people comment on my videos that are clearly marked as unboxing and assembly tutorials saying, terrible review, you didn't even run the vacuum or talk about how to use it. That's not the point. Reviews are separate videos. If you look on my channel, you'll see there is tons of reviews of vacuums, including my most recent one on the Bissell Power Force Bagless 6594, as an example. So yes, the unboxings and assembly tutorials, as well as the review videos, are indeed separate. So that way, if you don't need both, and you only need one or the other, then you may watch that video accordingly, and choose to watch the other one. Because you really can't win. If I made a video with the review and the unboxing and assembly tutorial all in the same video, then some would complain, review starts here, and say the rest of the video is useless. And vice versa. Then, if I did them as separate videos, which is what I do, people will complain that's not all in the same video. So, you can't make everyone happy. So, if you did enjoy this video, and do like the way that I do these videos, then drop a thumbs up on this video, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon. I generally don't bug you guys with hitting subscribe and the bell icon often, but like most YouTubers, the majority of my viewers are people who are not subscribed, and subscribing would be pretty nice especially if you hit that bell icon so that way you're notified every time i upload a new video whether it's a tutorial a review or maybe even something not vacuum related if you happen to not be into the vacuum content i'll be doing a lot more phone and computer videos as well at some point in the future but right now the general consensus is the vacuums reign supreme vacuum save video coming up very soon as well so you don't need to ask about that that will be fulfilled very soon in fact two of them will Anyway guys, enough rambling, this is Intelitech Studio signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace.